Are you stuck trying to write your nursing assignment using APA format? Maybe you've never even heard of APA before, or maybe you just need a quick refresher on how to use APA format. Today, I want to give you a few guidelines and advice to help you start writing your APA assignment. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Professor Jess B and this is LJ. Say hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, this channel was created to support nursing and healthcare students just like you. As a nursing professor and educator, I offer tips and expert advice that will help you succeed in school and in your new career. If this is something that you're interested in, show me some love and support hit that like button and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on weekly videos. So if you're watching this video, it's probably safe to assume you're either new to APA or somewhat unfamiliar with using APA in your assignment. That's okay, I've been there too. A lot of my students find it pretty daunting to write their assignment using APA. Now, over the years I've been teaching, many students end up losing easy marks on their assignment simply because they do not take the time to learn how to use APA correctly. So good for you for at least starting here with me to learn a little bit more. In fact, stay till the end of this video because I've got a free resource to help you get started with writing your assignment and learn the basics of using APA. Now, before we talk about how to use APA, let's just cover the basics of APA. So number one, what is APA? Well, APA stands for the American Psychological Association. It's a set of procedures or style rules for writing and presenting ideas and perspectives in an academic paper. Okay, so now let's talk about three tips to get you started with your APA assignment. Tip number one, review the assignment instructions. Now, before you even begin writing, you need to review the assignment expectations. Common sense, huh? Now, surprisingly, a lot of students overlook this step. Want to hear expert advice from a prof? When you have an assignment due, don't assume that you know or understand what the instructor wants. Make sure to review the assignment guidelines carefully and follow the instructions to the T. I cannot tell you how many times there is an assignment due in my class and students just simply don't read the instructions or they just do their own thing. Remember, part of being a healthcare professional and a future nurse is following instructions like medical orders. So when you have an assignment or an evaluation, make sure you follow the instructions and you do what you are asked of and clarify if you need that help as well. So review and make sure you fully understand the assignment instructions. Things like word count, the length of the paper, the topics to be discussed, the number of references you need to include or the headings you need to use, uh, which APA format are you expected to follow, the sixth edition, the seventh edition, what is the, when is the assignment due? All these things, okay, are really important for you to understand before you even start writing. Oh yes, and here's a little bonus piece of advice for you too. In addition to the assignment guidelines, take some time to review the assignment rubric or the evaluation tool. Oh my gosh, this is so important. Many students don't even know about the rubric or they just overlook this, but for every assignment, remember, or any method of evaluation, there always should be some sort of rubric or tool that is used by your professor to evaluate you. Your professor should post this or share this with students beforehand. Some may not, but if they do, you definitely want to take a look at it. Why? Because it will tell you exactly what you will be marked on on your assignment. Tip number two. Get organized by creating an assignment outline. Tip number two is to get your thoughts organized by creating an outline. It's like going into the grocery store without some idea of what you want to get when you're there. 
Now, more than likely, you're going to walk out with either too much or not enough if you don't have a game plan. Trust me, it's happened to me before. Now, I wish I could tell you that there was one way to do this, but to be perfectly honest, everyone does this step differently. I tell students to create an assignment template for them that includes which topics or areas to discuss and some initial ideas about what you want to include in your assignment. Now, if you read the assignment instructions like we talked about earlier and your professor has already given you predetermined headings, then use those headings and jot down your ideas. And don't worry, if your page seems empty or blank at this point during the process, that's fine. Afterwards, you do a little research and you learn a little bit more about the topic, you'll become well-versed in the literature and you'll have that information to fill into the blank space. Now, this step is just about organizing your thoughts. So it's not all mumble jumbled in your head. And eventually you'll organize the information into a meaningful, cohesive assignment that flows. Tip number three, create an assignment template. Before you even start writing your assignment, I tell my students that it often helps to create your assignment template. An assignment template is a blank document that has been preset with all the APA formatting requirements, the headers, the footers, the running heads, the font theme, the font size, the paragraph spacing, even the page numbers, okay? This is such a game changer. Why? Because once it's set up, then you have the green light to just write. And the good news, you only have to do it once. In fact, I've created a customized APA template for you so you don't have to do all that extra work. In a moment, I'll tell you how you can get your hands on that free APA assignment template and get started with your writing. Okay, so let's take a moment to recap. You can make the process of writing your APA assignment very simple using these three steps. Number one, review and understand your assignment instructions. Number two, get organized and create an outline of your key talking points. And number three, create an assignment template. Once you've done all that, you're ready to rock and roll and start writing. The skill of writing in APA can seem like a lot. Don't beat yourself up. If you don't get it right away the first few times, just like any skill, it will take repetition and learning from your mistakes. Now, here's where I can help. I'm giving you this free APA assignment template. LJ, come on, let's show them where to find it. All you need to do is simply click the link in the description box below and follow the steps to download it for free. That's it. If you found this information helpful, I recommend you watch the next video where I walk you through a quick checklist of things to review in your assignment before you submit it for evaluation. Trust me, you'll want to see this video before your next assignment is due. Hey guys, thanks for joining me on the JLT channel today. I promise I've got more good content for you like this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and even share this video with a friend because it's just like that. <laughs>